Rex moved his driveway a couple of years ago, and uh, he's been trying to get grass to grow where the other driveway was. You had, you've taken a lot of the rock out of it. Yeah, I've sowed grass three times. It's just compacted soil, won't grow grass. So plan B. Yeah, try to get a little bit more out of this, and I think you've located some new topsoil to get in here, and uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. I don't know, we'll see what the disc will do. It's gonna be pretty hard for it. I, I think it'll work it. Okay, let's get started. I broke it up as much as I could with a single tooth. Yeah, I mean, but, it looks pretty good. But you're going to go a little deeper than what I I could do. If you look here, it's, it's kind of hard packed, but there's gravel down to that. Okay. So I think if you stir it up enough, and then we'll get the bucket on this tractor. Yep. The farther you go that way, the more it's stirred up. I couldn't get up real close here with that tooth. Yeah. When you go up there, just circle out to the left and come back into yep. it straight, yep. if you would, please. Yep. We're trying to avoid the septic. Right. Don't want to run Big Johnny 5 over the septic. Right. That's dusty. Yeah. It's misting this morning, and yet yeah. it's dusty behind the yeah. disc. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah. Gravel in there. Yeah. What do you think? Is it doing what you need? Yeah, I think that's deep enough. Oh yeah. It's not going to go any deeper, but yeah, we're we're plenty deep. We're plenty deep. Deep it is with my okay. I still haven't got this disc adjusted to suit me yet. I think the front gang is going too deep. It's making it pull sideways a little bit, but uh, it did a nice job. That rolling basket harrow does a great job. It, it really breaks it up, especially when it's kind of dry like this. He's gonna haul this dirt off to uh, somewhere else. He has a place he can take it, so he's gonna replace maybe this much dirt, not really change the elevation. He has the luxury to do that. He's got a, a, a nephew, I think, that has a dump truck. And so when it's, when it's free, he can use it to, to do whatever he wants. What do you think? Is that deep enough? Or do you yeah. think we need to take that off and disc it again? No, I think, uh, I think we'll be good because I don't want to really put that much dirt in here. If we got good dirt, it ought to grow, you know? And there's yeah. enough soil, hopefully, underneath this that's decent and it'll grow too. The it. strange thing is this soil looks good. Yeah, when you were disking, you could really hear the gravel in it. Three or four inches of good soil might might make all the difference. I think so too. And once you get a good sod base on it, it kind of makes its own soil, yes. you know, and then yes. keeps going like that. Why don't you go ahead and go get your disc off, get your bucket on, and I'll keep working on this when you get back over here. I need your tractor to get the height to get into the truck. Okay. So that's what I need the big John Deere for. My I can build a ramp with this dirt, but that What's one the did, point? It, yeah, it just does a better job because it's taller. Yeah, okay. I know you. You're a box blade man. You see all this dirt, you're wanting to use your box blade. I'll get that ripper up out of the way. Now see, there's where I think the bucket is more efficient. He's got to grab it twice since he's using his box blade. Oh well, each to his own. A lot of you guys love the box blade. It's not that I don't like the box blade, I just feel like it's a little bit redundant for a lot of the purposes where a bucket can be used. Not every place, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's useless. It's a, it's a great attachment. I just think it was more useful before people had loaders. I mean, there were a lot of box blades sold before people have loaders, and now I think, like Rex, uh, they're in the habit of using them. Just my opinion, it's not a big deal.
I just talk about how I can do it with the loader, and then I proceed to make a mess of it here with my loader. I'm having two issues. One is I'm a little bit sloped with the right side of the tractor, a little lower than the left. And the other is I'm having trouble keeping from digging in too deep. A box blade would have probably made both of those easier. I'm also going to blame some of it on the visibility challenges that I have with this larger tractor. It's going to take a lot more practice for me to be able to uh, use this loader. It's uh, a lot bigger, a lot more going on, just harder for me to, to get it leveled as well. I dug too deep here in the beginning, up here, and, and then it was too deep just on the right side. So once I get it lopsided like that, I'm, you know, it's it's a lot more difficult to uh, to level it out. Boy, there are rocks really deep here. Like he says, 1941. Rex is estimating that this driveway was put in in 1941. I don't have the box blade, so I'm going to push it in a little bit. I'm going to have to do it with the bucket. I'm going to let Rex clean up the mess I made because I'm not very handy with this bucket. I really haven't used this loader very much. The visibility is a lot different. Not as good, even with the camera system. And, uh, and it's experience, too. And with the extra power, I was able to dig in a lot deeper than I thought I was. So, yeah. So we got a load of topsoil and brought it, and then now we're reloading uh, this soil that he wants to get rid of. This is good practice for me because I'm, I just don't get to use Johnny Five's loader very much. While I'm loading the truck, Rex is spreading out the first load of new topsoil there to my right. That's going to be a nice improvement. Definitely better soil than that he's uh, putting here than what he's taking away. But this is a lot of work. I think I might have tried just to mix it in with the, some of the rest and just stir it all around and see if I couldn't have got it good enough. 
but sometimes you use the tools that you have. In Rex's case, he has his nephew Sam from whom he can borrow the truck. That makes it so that it really isn't costing him anything, it's just taking his time. You've heard me state before that I think the loader's probably a little bit too big for the tractor. Well, I think that this bucket may be a little bit too big for this loader. The loader will pick up well over 3,000 pounds, and I can get enough into the bucket that I can't lift it to full height. You'll see the front tires squat as I pick up a bucket full. It's been a while since I've tested the air in the tires, but I do experience this even when I have them up as high as I dare put them. I'd like to have some wider front tires. A big load of dirt. Now this is a single axle dump truck with not real tall sides. Even then you'll be able to see that we really need all of Johnny Five's lift height to be able to fill it easily. Getting the bucket and boom over the edge is not really high enough. You need to be able to fully dump that bucket. Got the truck full now, so I'm going to try to combine this pile with a pile that's further on down the way here. That'll give him a place to dump the next load. Neighbor Chris from over here asked if we were strip mining. Yeah, looks like I need to tighten my slip clutch a little bit here. Nothing beats a power rake for final grading. I got this one from worksaver.com. I think it's a model 525. It works great here on Johnny 2. It's just a little bit too big for Johnny. That's good enough till he gets back. Rex has probably a 30 mile one way trip, maybe a little more. I never really thought about it till later, but I could have taken my green BY's ultimate dump trailer with him and saved a lot of time for him. 
But this was before my heart issue was fully diagnosed, and so I was kind of enjoying the resting time in between loads. Here we are in the next trip, and I didn't get over here in time. Rex has already stole my job. I think he looks good in green. What do you think? Well, it's getting kind of dark, guys, and we're going to move this pile of dirt. We may do a little bit more leveling before dark, but other than that, I think we're about done. And I'm afraid I've lost Johnny Five. I didn't get here in time to start loading this time, and well, I think I've lost him. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, my neighbor said we were strip mining. I, I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. He just ran over his tree. I don't think he heard it. <laughs>